Jeremy Corbyn will face a series of demands when he meets representatives of the UK's two main Jewish groups at Westminster later. The Labour leader has already apologised for the pain caused by what he described as pockets of anti-Semitism in his party and has, and has pledged to stamp it out. But the Board of Deputies of British Jews and the Jewish Leadership Council will press for concrete action to address the problem including a fixed timescale for dealing with outstanding and future complaints. Earlier this month, Jeremy Corbyn's friend and political ally, John Landsman, who is Jewish, told us that the Labour leader and his entire top team should go on a training course to learn more about anti-Semitism. There are a small number of cases of, you know, outrageous Holocaust denial and so on, uh, but they are relatively small numbers. I think there is a much wider problem of unconscious bias, which is similar, if you like, to the unconscious bias that we send people on training courses, uh, if they're doing recruitment, uh, interviewing people, so that they are aware of their unconscious biases. And unfortunately, in the Labour Party, it seems, and maybe elsewhere, many people do not seem to be willing to be uh, to confront that, that this unconscious okay. bias in themselves. And we need a, a big programme of education and training to make people aware of that. And should Jeremy Corbyn go on that education and training programme? Well, uh, I think everybody who deals on the National Executive of the Labour Party, from, uh, from investigators to members of the National Executive who consider it, and the National Constitutional Committee, so you, which is so the final, uh, uh, if you like, judicial, quasi-judicial body. So Mr Corbyn needs to do that? Well, I think we all should, actually. I think everybody... Including the leader? Well, I think all people who participate in making decisions okay. about the cases. But yes. Let's just pause for a moment. That is extraordinary, Mr Landsman, what you have just said. The leader of the Labour Party, it, it is you, not believe, extraordinary. you believe, no, it is needs not to go on a training and education it programme in order to, extraordinary in order to educate himself about anti-Semitism. about matters to do with uh, anti-Semitism should go on a training course. Just like in the Labour Party, in relation to sexual harassment, we require everyone to undergo courses about sexual harassment. It's exactly the same. Let's talk now to Jenny Manson, who is the co-chair of Jewish Voice for Labour. That's a campaign group which supports Jeremy Corbyn. Good morning to you. Um, what radical measures do you want to see? I'd like to see uh, Jenny Formby, now the General Secretary, investigating with due process cases of uh, alleged anti-Semitism. I do not want to see any more allegations being treated as truth and being used to, um, to uh, uh, criticise the Labour Party. The Labour Party has got some anti-Semitism, all parties have. My concern is much more at the moment about the great rise of anti-Semitism on, uh, uh, in, uh, in, on the far right in Europe, and I think we ought to be looking at that. And actually, the Conservative Party, whom I don't want to malign, but they have got links with some of the uh, right-wing parties in Europe, and I'm very concerned about that. So, going back to what I want done, I want a serious consideration of anti-Semitism in the Labour Party, and I think John Lowndes was right, although I don't, in my view, think it's anything odd that he said that Mr Corbyn needs education as well. As a Jew, I am very aware what anti-Semitism is, and I sometimes find that other people don't fully understand it. Do you think Mr Corbyn fully understands I it? I think Mr Corbyn, actually, is one of the, the members of the Labour Party who does understand it. Why He's has got your to... party failed to expel anybody for <laughs> anti-Semitic comments? As far as I know, they have been able to expel. So far, the cases that I know about have not been based on on actual evidence. You may know of Professor Moshe Makova, Professor of Mathematics, Israeli Jew living in London, was suspended with sort of vague allegations of anti-Semitism. There was absolutely no evidence against him. He's a Jew. Uh, it, it's possible, and the, there might be a case with evidence suggesting that a Jew was guilty of anti-Semitism. Well, do you think, well let's, sorry to interrupt, but Ken Livingston has been suspended now for two years. Yes for alleged anti-Semitic yes, remarks. Right. Do you think he should be expelled? As a matter of fact, I think he is a very good example of somebody who needs due process. I don't think he's anti-Semitic. I think some of the things he said... Do you think his said, comments well, were about Hitler being I don't Zionist. think they were anti-Semitic, no. I think they were offensive. Right. But the fact that I have a different view than maybe you or someone else just suggests mm. that you have to have proper evidence. Mm. And in, my, in, in the case of Ken Livingstone, that is trial by the media and trial by the critics well, of the Mr Well, the party could have sorted this out years ago. Yeah. The, two the, years it's been going there on. Has been a, there was, a, he was given another suspension for a year. 
I think it hasn't been very, there hasn't been much competency around. That's why I'm very pleased as a new general secretary. I think the party was hauled into this very fast. The Chakrabarti report is absolutely excellent, but it hasn't been implemented. And I, I, had, I think that has been a failure of the administration, but not of Mr. Corbyn. He is not the boss of the general secretary. It's the NEC. No, but it comes from the top. Uh, the no, culture actually, comes from the top. The culture is fine. If it, if it was yeah. important to him, he would have made sure, surely, the recommendations were implemented. Well, as a matter of fact, I've, I've been talking about this before today. The General Secretary of the Labour Party is answerable to the NEC. If Mr Corbyn had said, I want the General Secretary to be a different person or to do this, the criticism of him would be this one that's so often made of him. He's being dictatorial. The left is ruling the party. Come okay, on. No, no, if, no, if, if you appoint someone like Shami Chakrabarti yes. to do a report into anti-Semitism, yes. which he did, yes. and then she afterwards was given a peership, yes. it's important to you. It's important It was to very you. important. So it is why he asked the NEC, as far as I know, I don't speak to him in the NEC every day, to ask Mr um, Ian McNichol to implement the Chakrabarti report. It hasn't been implemented. And I was just trying to explain to you, if I may, that no other party has had a Chakrabarti report. No other party has an internal administration trying to deal with an issue like anti-Semitism. And they have made... it's not as bad in other um, parties. There's no evidence. All the evidence at the moment, and there's been an evidence very recently... Um, uh, uh, which was um, sponsored by a Jewish organisation, perhaps expecting different results. They found that most of the anti-Semitism were on the far right, there was very little on the far left, and it's mainly about Israel. But it was which never an issue for Labour until... Oh, it was, it no, was. Well, it the wasn't under Ed Miliband. <laughs> I was, there was anti-Semitism against Ed Miliband, in my view, from people outside the Labour Party. This is but a, he an didn't, issue. he didn't... There was uh, no so, atmosphere within the party, uh, uh, which meant far, that as online... As far as I know, and there's no evidence, I'm asking for evidence that mm. things have got worse in the Labour Party. I've been in the Labour Party 50 years. I've never experienced anti-Semitism. I haven't in the last two You've years either. You've never experienced anti-Semitism? Never, ever. From within or without? From within the Labour Party. I have outside, but right, never within okay. the Labour Party. Mm. And that is the view. I'm, a, I'm chair of the Jewish Voice for Labour. We have to be, to be full members, Jewish and members of the Labour Party. No other organisation speaks for Jewish members of the Labour Party. The Board of Deputy and Jewish Leadership Council do not speak for us, are nothing to do with the Labour Party, are n called mainstream organisations. What does mainstream mean? We are also a Jewish organisation, called a fringe, some sort of left crazy fringe. Anyway, among our colleagues, I don't think any of the people that I know have ever experienced anti-Semitism in the Labour Party. Mm. Now, people are experiencing. It seems to me, and this is what my kids told me a long time ago, this is a social media problem more than anything else. So let me get back to where anti-Semitism does seem to be occurring. It doesn't make it any less searing. Of course it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. It's, and you're sorry. right to say that some people have been expelled. That was my error. I yeah. apologise. Sorry, you, you're questioning my seriousness when I'm talking about let's look at the facts. The facts are, in my experience, I've never met anti-Semitism. I don't do social media. Mm. And I keep away from social media for good reason, because I might fall into a trap of reposting something. I so see people do. On social media, um, there has been some disgusting things said to Labour MPs, absolutely disgusting, and I gather to Conservative MPs too, although we're not hearing about that, and that's equally disgusting. The, the link between those nasty bits, blogs, posts, whatever, to Labour Party members is not established. If it is established, of course, that would be one of the first cases that Jenny Formby should look at. So that's why I'm saying it's a trial of, of social media. People haven't learned how to okay. use it. And I want to say one other word about Israel. I mean, um, I am very concerned about Israel's policy, and I'm Jewish, and I'm allowed to say that. Um, it's become increasingly hard for non-Jews to know how to talk about it. And the actual um, result of this latest few weeks a few months, years since Corbyn came in, is that conversation about Israel and Palestine and Palestinian rights in the Labour Party has more or less ceased. People are so nervous now of saying the wrong thing. I think that's another serious crisis that we should be okay. talking about. Thank you very much. We'll see what happens with the meeting later. Thank you very much for coming on the programme. Uh, Jenny Mans. Jenny, oh, do stay there, Jenny, just for a moment. It's fine. I know you've got to go, but thank you so much. Uh, Co-chair of Jewish Voice for Labour. That's a campaign group which supports Jeremy Corbyn.